Students, today you are going to study module 5 of digital switching system that is maintenance of digital switching systems. Software maintenance. Digital switch maintainability can be grouped into two categories. Supplier initiated software maintenance and software maintenance by site owners. So supplier initiated software maintenance. This consists of software maintenance actions needed to upgrade a generic release of a digital switch. Software correction required to correct faults included here. Next to second type is software maintenance by site owners. These are routine maintenance actions that must be performed by the site owners of a digital switch. Examples could be a routine diagnostics, updating of translation tables, and addition of lines and trunks to digital switch. Interface of a typical digital switch system central office. So digital switching system central office. The diagram is as shown in the figure. Most of the common interface of a typical digital switching system central office is as shown in the figure. So interfaces of central office as shown in the figure. The maintainability of a CO depends on satisfying the needs of all these and other interfaces. A group of CO is assigned to a switch control center that is SCC. The next level of maintenance is assigned to the electronic switching system assistance center that is ESAC in parallel with the maintenance engineers. The ESAC organization usually controls generic upgrade, patching operational trouble reports and interfaces with the suppliers, regional assistance centers and technical assistance centers. Tax to solve unusual and difficult maintenance problems, the maintenance levels vary from one commodity to other. The other department interact with the digital switch are engineering support. This department writes the new specification for a new digital switch and engineers addition to the existing CO. This department interfaces with the suppliers, engineering department, CO plant department and traffic department. This provides the accurate engineering specification for the new digital switch installation or addition. Next one is Billing Center. Billing Center is responsible for processing automatic message accounting or billing tapes from a CO to produce customer bills. Security. This department provides security services for the digital switching system to prevent unauthorized access and fraudulent translations of the telephone service. Special Translation Support This group provides support in establishing unusual translation for CO. These include the special services like complete call routing and trunk translation etc. Trunk and line assignment. This main function of the group is to assign lines and trunks to a digital switches, line equipment and trunk equipment. It also maintains the databases of line and trunk assignments. Coin Bureau. Coin telephones employ different instruments and operators. Coin equipment is maintained by the separate department. Special coin collection signals and special line translators are also employed. To solve any coin related problems, this department takes ill from the SCCS and ESACS. Customer Bureau. The depa this department is a single point of contact for telephone customers with request for telephone connection, disconnection, reconnection and telephone problems. It works with the line and trunk assignment group and SCCS. Traffic Department. This group model and study telephone traffic through a digital switch. 
it recommends the addition and removal of trunks in a CO. This group interfaces with the engineering support group. System outage and its impact on digital switching system reliability. Digital switch outage represents the most visible measure of switching system reliability and effect maintainability. This, the cause of digital switch outages have been classified into four categories. Software deficiencies. This includes software bugs that cause memory errors or program loops. These can be cleared only by major initialization. Hardware failure. This relates to simplex or duplex hardware failure in the system which results in system outage. Ineffective recovery. This includes failure to detect trouble until after service has been impaired. This will probably isolate faulty unit due to shortcoming of the software or documentation. Procedural error. These are cockpit or crafts errors which have caused loss of services. Example may include inputting wrong translation data or taking correct action during repair, growth and update procedures. Impact of software patches on digital switching system maintainability. The frequency of generic releases for a DSS is usually limited to a few times a year. In these generic releases, all software corrections are incorporated via patches. Patches are a quick fix or program modification without recompilation of the entire generic release. In real-time operational system, it is difficult to install patches since the system works continuously and patches have to be applied without bringing the system down. Embedded Patcher Concept The concept of resident patcher program is explained in this section. The first generation digital switches, field patching was performed by hard writing encoded program instructions and data to absolute memory location. This technique is viable, created many problems in the operation of a digital switch. The mistakes were made in applying the wrong data to wrong addresses, patching incompatible generic releases and applying that are out of sequence. Embedded patcher programs that operates as software maintenance programs and reside in the digital switches have overcome this problem. By using the proper design specification of digital switching functions coupled with exhaustive regression testing of software interfaces, we can reduce the number of patches in the field. The current state digital switching software requires large number of patches needing excessive maintenance effort by the owner of digital switching system. Growth of digital switching system central offices. The growth is the important thing in the lifetime of a digital switching system. The growth means the upgrading of a system software or hardware. The process represents a major efforts for maintenance organizations such as SACS and ESACS. The complexity of the upgrading the digital switch comes from its non-stop nature, real-time operational profile and the complex of software and hardware involved. The exact upgrade process for each digital switch is usually documented by the supplier. Generic program upgrade. This process varies among the suppliers. The most important thing is not the upgrade process, but how digital switch is prepared to accept a new release. Following are the points required in the method of procedure used in the digital switch and a CO. Time required for the entire upgrade process to happen, availability of the switch during that period, dumping of the existing data tables, those need to be repackaged with the new release. 
verification of old tables with the new tables to ensure that all old functionalities are supported in the new release the synchronization of hardware availability and the software upgrade if hardware upgrade is included along with the software upgrade establishment of software patch levels for the upgrade process supplier support before during and after the upgrade of the generic release